Hello, straight to it. We're going to see this ball ignite and go out. And now we're going to figure out why. First things first, we're going to safely isolate the boiler and make sure it's safe to touch. Then we're going to remove the cover. It's got two screws in the front and then it lifts off up and out. We've got another cover with four screws. Just quickly whip that out. And that just pulls off. Out the way, we've got another one with four screws. However, this one is connected to the electrode, so you probably want to be careful with this. We're just going to give it a quick once over. Get those four screws out. We're going to look at the burner. We're going to look at the seals. Just a general inspection. Make sure it's all safe. Whilst that's all off, just give that a bit of a scrub with a brush. Check out the seal, the red seal around there. Make sure that's all spongy and not gone hard. The electrodes and the flame rectification, we just give it a little brush over just so that it keeps igniting properly. And then what I'm going to do next is check the gap because it, it keeps igniting and going out and sometimes it doesn't ignite so a good trick is use a pound coin and that just uh, as long as it slightly fits in there or is close to fitting in there then it's the right gap there we go it keeps going out we've looked it over the burner doesn't look too bad or anything like that so we're going to try and figure this out now before we start taking things apart and testing the PCB, we want to we want to test the easy bits first. You know the bits that we can test right now without um, without it being too difficult. So let's do that before diving into uh, pulling out parts and uh, <laughs> testing PCBs and whatnot, which a lot of people might want to do immediately. So there is a common fault with this. And uh, it's normally to do with the condens, or condens trap or blockages. But in this case, it's flame rectification to do with the condens trap. So that wire, that white wire leads to the flame rectification. We've disconnected it and we're going to see if it starts now. With it disconnected, the boiler runs fine so we now know that the issue is with the condens so either the condens is blocked the condens is wet or there's some sort of fault so essentially what happens with this is it's it's kind of an earth so once it senses an earth it uh, it triggers the uh, flame rectification so that it doesn't light up um, so I'll show you now in a bit I'm going to touch a bit of the boiler, which the boiler is earthed, so as soon as I touch the boiler with that wire, it's going to cut out. So I'm going to grab that bit, put it on the fan, and it cuts out, because it has picked up earth. As soon as I release it from an earth, it will spark again. So if you find that you've got no blockages, it's not wet, then the issue may be with the condens trap or the connection on the condens trap or it might actually just be your flame rectification.